Hi, my name is Erica Cordock and I am a qualified personal trainer. So, some of the questions that I normally get asked when it comes to a client coming towards me and asking for my help is, how do I get out of this hole that I'm feeling in? How do I come out myself? How do I learn to have that little bit of self-confidence? Well, there's lots of different things that go into that and in taking that first step, I will honestly say, is like the biggest and hardest decision that you will ever make. As soon as you take that first step into getting fitter and healthier, which for me is not just a physical aspect, it comes from inside. It's nutritionally, so whatever goes in, comes out, and it comes up and feeds your brain, it feeds your whole mental state, it feeds everything, not just the weight loss. Um, it's your physical, it's your mind. You have to, in my mind, you have to connect three. So for me as a personal trainer, I want to reach inside you to see what's going on up here, to get inside and be able to help you from the inside out. Everyone asks questions um, when it comes to training. What time? I don't have time. I'm a full-time mum. How am I going to do this? Um, I work from this time till that time. How am I supposed to get healthier if I just don't have the time? Well. It really is about little changes throughout your life that might be whether you're drinking enough water, it might be a um, change in your diet, but you don't have to jump in at the deep end, you can do it step by step, you do it accordingly to what helps you and what, what makes you feel good. Um, there's always time throughout the day, whether you believe it or not, it is with these little adjustments that you will find out that that, that is true, that you will be able to adjust your lifestyle accordingly. I get asked, um, I get asked, where do I train? Where do I teach? Where do I do my one-on-ones? Uh, -on uh, where do I do my classes? Um, one really lovely place that I do work at is Sandmatch Health and Fitness. Um, it's at the Rugby Club in Sandmatch. It's full of lovely people there. I like working. I choose to work there because I am self-employed, but I choose to work there because of the environment, because of the people, and me like yourselves. I like good people to be around. I like to uh, feel like I fit in. A lot of people don't uh, in their day-to-day -day life, but it's really important that you find that comfortable surroundings and you go there, you work there, you are surrounded by lovely people. Talking about uh, comfortable surroundings, that's another thing that I always promote to people, whether they be my one-to-one -one client or whether there be somebody that just joins in in classes is for me personally, and this comes from my heart, is if you don't connect with your instructor, your one-on-one um, -on -one coach, your personal trainer or class instructor, it's like anyone in your surroundings day-to-day -day life. If you don't connect with them, then maybe there's something just missing there. You need to find someone that you can actually connect with. You need to find someone that's going to listen to you and it's going to help you as an individual, not as a whole. Everybody's different. As much as we're different on the inside, we are different on, on the outside. We're different through and throughout. Them differences are what we have to work on because you cannot pick up like a diet, a nutritional book, and go, okay, I'm going to try this, this diet because that's another thing that we can go into. I often get people complaining to me and saying, well, I've tried this diet, I've tried that diet, and it doesn't work for me, I haven't lost the weight, I feel tired, uh, I don't have the energy, and I just don't know how to move on. Well, sometimes, because you think that you're eating healthy food, and it, it, it might be nutritional, but it, that diet or that nutritional plan might not be good for you, because you might have some allergy lying behind it, or, you might have some kind of intolerance to the food that you're eating. You might eat, need to eat more of one thing than another. So again, this is like going back to basics and uh, analysing what you're eating, analysing when you're eating it, how much water it take, are you getting enough of these things, and then just changing it all around to suit you as an individual. Don't go by what your next door neighbour is eating. If it works for them, it works for them, it's great, it might not work for you. We're all individuals, each and every one of us. So we have to think about what we want for ourselves, not because it's going to please someone else, but what's going to make us feel good. 
And if you know and you have a goal of what makes you feel good, then be realistic. Be realistic with yourselves. Um, don't think that you're going to take this magic pill and that overnight you're going to become the person that you want to be. It's like anything in life, you have to work towards it. So the more that you split your goals and the more that you set yourself these goals and start stepping into them, the more that you will achieve. So as I said, it's not a one night wonder, it is something that will last you a lifetime. It's a life changing thing. It's about mental, it's about internal, so your gut, whatever you're feeding yourself will feed you mentally as well. And then moving in the outdoor and the activity side of things. You have to combine all three, as I was uh, saying previously, you have to combine all three. Uh, so your mind, your gut and your physical all have to work together. I will know exactly, as my profession, I will know exactly when to push you, I will know when to encourage you and I will know when to make you push yourself, to help yourself and to love yourself more. If you have any doubts about how you can even start yourself on this uh, new life, because that's what I would consider it, is a new life, because we get stuck in our way for so long, we feel like we're in a ditch, we feel like we're gloomy, dooming, how do we get out of here? And sometimes we need that little lifeline, but we can be your lifeline. It's just extending the arm, giving you the tools to help yourself to get motivated and moving and climbing out of that ditch. We all need it, we all need someone sometimes, and I am here genuinely for you. So if you're interested in getting in touch with myself, as I said, my name is Erica Cordart, and you can contact me at 078 Thank you.